software instability. November 6th, a little later, almost 10 a.m. Find Amanda. I'm right here, silly. I hate when, I hate when bad guys have my name. It's happened a few times in recent history. And I'm always like, not mean. I always feel offended. <laughs> I guess that's how it is for everybody, right? If the bad guy's name is like Heather or something, they're like, I'm not mean. Or maybe they are. And they're like, yeah, we are crazy. Oh. 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 Blinky red surprise face. Mm-hmm. Amanda is right over there. I think that's the only thing I can do. Let's go this way a little bit. It's very pretty here. Can I go across these stepping stones or? No, these are lily pads. Silly. You'd fall right through. You're a robot. You're probably kind of heavy. Although I do love a red rose, so they got one thing right at least. Hello, Amanda. Hello. <laughs> Connor, it's good to see you. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. Thanks. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? Hmm. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? I like him. I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He still is. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Befriend him. I will try to establish a friendly relationship. <laughs> if I can get him to trust me, it will be helpful for the investigation. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. I'm sure I There's can count time. on you. We're at the DPD. Look for Lieutenant Anderson. Hello. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. The way he blinks all crazy is hilarious. You might be in shock. Tensions in the Arctic have reached a new level. Yeah. A Russian carrier and an American patrol boat reported to have this? clashed last night. Sure. Several warning shots were exchanged, uh -oh. apparently with no damage or casualties to either side. The Minister for Defense, Dennis Riggs, has spoken of go. intolerable Thanks. provocation that cannot go unanswered. The countries in the region, particularly Sweden Shouldn't and Canada, have called for military forces to withdraw and an international conference to be held. 
So far, there has been no response from either Moscow or Washington. We'll keep you informed minute by minute as the situation develops. Yeah, I mean, um, is there some reason that we're literally fighting over this? Like, I understand. I understand. Joint Chiefs of Staff. All the, like, oh, well, you know, the resource kind of war. But neither place has the rights to the Arctic. Unless it's uh, some kind of alternate reality. Kind of like Fallout. I'm looking for, for Lieutenant Fallout Anderson's Universe. desk. It's that desk right there. Hello. Oh, okay. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Brown. Anderson. I'm looking for um a note. Oh, here it is. I was like, I'm looking for a magazine. You and you come with me. Three, the three laws of robotic parenting. Family life has never been easier. UN warns of World War III. President Warren at 33% approval. When CyberLife initially released their child range, the public were skeptical of purchasing a family. Now, the collection is one of CyberLife's best sellers. But is this really a surprise? Customi customizable, removable LED, no hunger, no expensive child care, no new clothes, and not to mention no smelly diapers. The perfect child is only one click, only a click away. All its needs can be suspended at the touch of a button. It's child's play. It's a stress-free solution for career-oriented parents, those struggling to have their own children or miss having a youngster at home. With unemployment at 37.3%, $7,500 for, for a child that avoids the dreaded teenage years and shelling out for college seems like a wise investment compared to $350,000 over 17 years. Plus, it doesn't have to be a lifelong commitment. <laughs> Great. But sociologist Mary Wallace argues that these androids are leading fewer parents to have children at a time when our birth rates are already far too low. Contributing to what she terms the baby doom. Jason Graff, again, director at Humanization at Cyberlife, dismisses these claims as the usual resistance to new ideas, calling the new androids a triumph of humanization design. Ivanov says, Niet, Russian president responds to Warren's warning. Cyberlife, world's first trillion dollar company. Global population reaches 10 billion. Following President Warren's demand that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic immediately. Again, why are we demanding this? Do we own Antarctic? The Arctic, I guess? President Ivanov of Russia has issued a response. Ivanov branded Warren's comments as megaphone diplomacy and said U.S. saber-rattling is the number one threat to stability in the region. The Kremlin produced a detailed statement outlining Russia's claim to the territory, and Ivanov said he would remain remind President Warren that the United States is subject to UN conventions like everybody else. The conflict shows no signs of abating. Oh, snap. This is Mr. Anderson's desk. Yep, we found it. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thank you. Thanks. See? Connor is so polite. He always says thank you and excuse me and you're welcome. It's an awkward little turtle, though, I'll tell you what. 
Oh. oh. Be silly. Of course I want to see you. Who are you talking to? Baby, listen, I can't talk right now. I'm in the office. Yeah, okay. Love you too. <clears throat> oh man, who are you? Hmm? Who are you? Wilson? Is that what that says? Wilson. Shame. For shame. An affair. Okay. <laughs> Knights of the Black Death. Dark heavy metal. Wow. Call Hank Anderson. Take a look at the uh, Hank. Not here at the moment. Report says they cut Leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. <laughs> Maybe to try Beep. Out a new form of Whose phone is this? Lieutenant Anderson, this is Connor. I'm the android <laughs> sent by Cyberlife. It's almost noon, and I'm waiting for you at the office. It was very succinct and beautiful. Coffee cup, cold coffee, traces of caffeine. Yep, that's usually what's in coffee. Japanese maple, Asian. Shishigashira, Shishigashira, Shoki. Lots of old mansly donuts. Donuts and all of the beautiful information about them. Anti-android slogans. Use your brain, not your android. Android free space. Okay. Detroit baseball cap. Okay. Detroit police dismantle a network of red eye stealers. More than 50 arrests throughout the country. Detroit's finest has dealt a massive blow to the city's growing red ice epidemic. With number, with a number of high-profile dealers and suppliers now behind bars and narcotics seized with a street value of $500,000, Detective Hank Anderson, whoops, a young but hugely talented detective, is said to have been instrumental in the operation, which took months of planning. The DA described the work of Detective Anderson and his colleagues as a model investigate model investigative police work becoming the youngest lieutenant on the detroit police force lieutenant hank anderson was among the most decorated detectives in dpd's recent history securing a number of high profile arrests and serving as an integral member of the force captain fowler said the promotion was long overdue describing anderson as among the most talented police i've ever worked with the new lieutenant is expected to rise quickly through the ranks of the department and is already being tipped as a future commissioner. Wow, commish, huh? Nearly a ton of red ice discovered in the hold, not in the hood, <laughs> in the hold of a boat after a long investigation conducted by Lieutenant Anderson of the Detroit Police Force. Nice. Red Ice Task Force. <laughs> oh, he labeled them all. A good cop, real police, a-hole, nice gal. Responsible for the Red Ice Network dismantle of 2028. Nope, don't want to look at that one. Hairs, canine hairs, St. Bernard Dog. Matches, Jimmy's Bar, Wood and Phosphorus. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, 
Hink. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office. Let's enter the office and listen, and then we can explore, I think. I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem oh. anymore. I was like, what guy? It's now a or criminal tease. investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. But I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. <laughs> Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this Jeez. plastic prick. <laughs> Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary <laughs> folder because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitching. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Man, he's took a gamble. It's a good thing he needs this job. I feel positive. I'm very pleased to have joined the team. I can assure you I'll do my very Close best. Close the door on your way out. <laughs> Aw. Poor Connor is so sweet. Have a nice day, Captain. And polite. All right, we're going to go see the, uh, we're going to go this away first. <laughs> Fuck, look at that. Our friend, the plastic detective mm -hmm. is back in town. Congratulations on last night, very impressive. Thank you. I mean, I got him to talk, none of you did. Hello, Detective Reed. Polite. What a sweet man. Oh, and then Never seen an android like you before. It's because I'm a prototype. What model are you? It's right on my RK lapel. RK-800. Right here. I'm a prototype. A prototype? Mm-hmm. Android detective. So a machine's gonna replace us all. Is that it? Hey, bring me a coffee, dipshit. Get a move on! Mm, no I'm thanks. sorry, but I only take orders from Lieutenant Anderson. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh man, he hit me right in my third. If he had gone the way yesterday, I would have fucked you up for disobeying a human. Stay out of my way, because next time, you won't get off so easy. He's just jealous. Look how cute Connor is. Gavin is just jealous. What a little jelly boy. Several sources report that Cyberlife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Mm, Although police skeptical. assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We contacted Cyberlife for comment, but no one was available to answer our questions. 
The first book written by an artificial intelligence has just been published, and to call it a success would be an understatement. Really? The human's dream of mammalian sheep has shot to the top of the bestseller list. Moreover, critics are unanimous in their praise for the depth of thought and originality of this first work. Designed by CyberLife, the AI known as Voltaire analyzed human centers of interest on social networks for several months before its complex algorithms generated the plot of the novel. Hmm. According to several specialists, it will be very difficult for human authors to compete with these algorithms, and the odds are that most of the books written in the coming years will be Interesting. the work of artificial intelligence. I mean, I've listened to some of those AI-generated stories and everything. And they are funny enough. I feel like I would definitely have read a whole novel of it. Hello. They're going to destroy me. It's probable. We'll be sincere with him. They have to analyze your biocomponents. They need to understand what happened. They didn't rinse him off. I know there's off. something you didn't tell me. I need to know before they take you away. The sculpture you made. Tell me more about it. Man, we're having a very somber moment. I can't go in. Oh! Open the cell, quick! Hurry! Oh, he's uh, doing himself in, self destruct. Ew. Did you see that? It was like squishy. I'll call Cyber Life. There's Chris. He's Come always around. I don't know what his last name is, but... Hey, Chris, what's your last name? Mm, check on Hank. What's the other thing I can do? I don't know. I guess let's... Understanding, pragmatic, constructive. Let's be understanding. I get the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> let's be positive. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. <laughs> I'm sure we'll make a great team. He's too cute. How could you be mad at him? Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. I don't know what that thing we missed was. Analyze deviancy files. Let me get in here. There we go. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. Mm-hmm. I like dogs. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? I just like dogs. Sumo. Cute. I call him Sumo. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what <laughs> I was watching at the bar last night. Oops. Spoilers. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. I really like it's that. full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such. But I'd like to. 
He's too cute. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. Mm. Take a look at these samples yet? Lab report says they cut it with something. Let's just start working. If you have any files on deviance, <laughs> I'd like to take a look at this. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. Thank you. Alright, I'll chase it up. Because I think the other two options don't have very good um like they bring his affinity down. Um Disappearance. Plaintiff reports that he left his android at home as usual when he went to work. When he returned, the android was nowhere to be found. No trace of break-in in the apartment. The android may have the android may have left the home without being ordered to. Attack. Charles Bell. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by an AV500, number 2347778821, model android, working as a waiter in the Fast Coney Dogs chain, restaurant chain, situated at 842 Chamberlain Avenue. The plaintiff claims the android lunged at him unexpectedly in an attempt, an attempt to strangle the man. Before leaving the scene, the android remains at large. Attack. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by her android, an AP700. The android was also trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. Disappearance. The plaintiff, the manager of the Eden Club, reports the unexplained disappearance of a sex android model WR400. The android disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never returned to the club. Attempted murder, Leo Manfred. We didn't try to murder him, we just tipped him over. Leo Manfred was found unconscious in the home of his father, Carl Manfred. The latter's witness statement attests to an altercation between his son and the house android. The android is thought to be a prototype, unknown model and serial number was destroyed at the scene by the attending officers. Case reference aggression, Todd Williams. The plaintiff claims he was violently attacked. We, he didn't violently attack him. We ran by his domestic android, an AX400 model. The android had just returned from being repaired the previous day and had shown signs of aggression in the past. Two hundred and forty-three files. Mm -hmm. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. He didn't assault him. He barely even bled. <laughs> He's salty that he has to be our partner. Let's be professional. I know you didn't ask for this investigation, Lieutenant, but I'm sure you're a professional. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Hmm. Let's be determined. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Ayo. Hey, oh no! <laughs> Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant? Uh, sorry to disturb you. Hi, Chris. Oh, Absolute Miller is his last the name. 400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. I don't even think Connor's light went red though when he got tossed around. I'll have to rewatch that. Oh, there's something that we didn't unlock. Hmm.
Something while we're waiting for Hank. Interesting. <laughs> Hank arrives. Hank storms out. <laughs> I wonder how you don't get a lead. Interesting. Hank is warm towards us, though, so that's good. I mean, could be worse. Okay. Okay, November 6th, 10.25 a.m. That man just popped into existence. Our family, Alice. Okay. I'm gonna let her nap a little bit more. Poke that fire a little bit. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know that you're gonna get much. Uh, business here. Cyber Wildlife. First Android Zoo opens. That's what, when we went to the um, gas station last night, they were talking about that on the news. U.S. Ooh. Sorry. The man reading makes me sleepy. U.S. life expectancy now 91. 0.4% of population, of world population, Holds 94% of global wealth. Well, yeah. CyberLife sets to open the first android zoo in Los Angeles, which will exhibit an exotic species to have... All exotic species to have become extinct in the last 30 years. Loot turtles, polar bears, mountain gorillas, African elephants, and several species of tiger will be among the most high-profile attractions. CyberLife CSR spokeswoman Danielle Carnegie said the zoo caters to people of all ages and has a special mission to educate and inspire the younger generation about the importance of protecting our fragile environment. Though some environmentalists have claimed the zoo will diminish popular concern for the extinction of real animals, it's difficult not to be enthusiastic about technology being used to recreate vanished species. The animals themselves have yet to be unveiled, but CyberLife promises they will be more real than the real thing. No doubt, an ideal weekend trip for the family. Canada. Canada still android-free zone. Canada, where the air is clean and the, and the welcome is always warm. Discover the landscape, discover the wild, discover Canada. Despite the United States voting in its Android Act as early as 2028, the Canadian Parliament has yet again pushed back its decision on whether to permit Androids in the country. As a result, Androids are still not sold in Canada and have no official status in the country. With Androids continuing to fuel unprecedented growth in the U.S. economy, Yet, contributing to record levels of unemployment, the arguments for, for and against putting them on sale in Canada rages on. But, for the time being, Canada remains an android-free zone. Oh, there it is. It's like, why are there two things here? We got wood for the fire. I'm going to check in here real quick. Hmm. Urban farm area. Okay. A taxidermy deer head is weirding me out. Stared at me with its empty eyes. 
There's a bird, a dead bird. It's completely rigor mortis. <laughs> it's lovely that you keep that somewhere nice and safe. There's a watch. It's broken. There's money. Take it. Never know when you need a fiver. Alice didn't see me, so she has no opinion on the matter. Wake up, sleepyhead. Okay. Yes, let's um should we go upstairs? Out of this world. Gotta change up the look, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Find new clothes. She walks up them stairs with a hop in her step. is fine. I want to know, is the armband thing part of her shirt or is it like part of her body? Mm, that'll do. She got new pants and everything and new boots. She got a whole new wardrobe. Did a little turn. Can we look out here at all? Is it raining? It is, in fact, raining. Um, I'm sorry. Does that have fingers? That's a fingers. Well, I guess let's do this first. Go and snip off our hair. Perfectly. Makes sense. She's an android, right? And like a caregiving android, so maybe she knows how to do haircuts. A cosmetologist android. Very snazzy. I like it. Let's do. I like the white, honestly. I think that looks really cool. There's white, blonde, and then black. Our hair is naturally brown, so, or I guess in the, you know, our default setting is brown. Let's go ahead and do white. Pretty cool that she can change the color of her hair. They didn't think that would backfire. Perfect. See these fingers hanging out? Yeah. I don't think we're gonna like this. Oi! Oh, that doesn't look good. It looks like a not good death. It's like a neck breaking kind of death. Mm. Well, gotta um, 
go get our child and leave. The popo is here. Right. Call the popo. That's all for now. Somebody there did. Somebody called the popo. We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. What are you going to do with that? Oh, you're talking about Connor? I have no idea. Probably adopt him? Why wouldn't you? It took the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Mm -hmm. Its decision wasn't planned. It was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. Mm -hmm. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Maybe. Okay. I mean, I know where we are. With that <laughs> murdery guy. Oh, no. What Ralph is that found thing? This to feed the little girl. Is that a gopher? <laughs> It's good for her. A present. To make up for past misunderstandings. <laughs> Ralph will cook. We will do just like humans do. Humans like burnt meat. Come. Come and sit down. <laughs> mm. Uh, let's sit. <gasps> That's better. <laughs> Ralph went to a lot of trouble to find something for the little girl to eat. I don't know what that is. A woodchuck? It wouldn't be polite for her to refuse. Would it? The body looks like a beaver, but that is not a beaver. And the tail looks like possum, but that's not possum. And honey, you gotta gut it and clean it and succulent, skin it. Succulent. 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 <laughs> well, he's Father, a... Mother, little girl. What did she say? Nothing. She said she doesn't want to eat it. Oh no! <laughs> well, maybe it's not good enough. Maybe she's used to. That's wiggling things. way too much. But Ralph did this for her, so she's going to eat. I didn't mean to break her trust. He's just unhinged. Go ahead. Eat. Eat what? You barely cooked it. It's got its skin on it. It's got its organs in it. It's gonna poison her to death. Eat. We're going to stand up now. And we're going to leave. Ralph. No. I don't know how this is going to end. I'm not having fun with this. I'm going to leave. <laughs> Until Ralph says so. Ralph, that's not very nice. You said you wanted to be like a family. Ralph? Family isn't Father, mean to each other like this. Mother. The little girl, remember? father would never threaten his little girl with a knife to make her eat. See? It's not a nice thing to do, Ralph. That's right. Ralph went to a lot of trouble. I understand. That's why. He just wanted the little girl to eat. But Ralph is not bad. No, no I think Ralph is confused, and that's okay. Then let us go. Yeah, I don't want to ask about the dead Anybody body. Anybody home? Commoners, uh, we're not here. There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Oh, no, now I have to be this and, like, be this chapter is, like, one of the hardest because you're playing as Kara and Alice trying to escape and as Connor trying to find them. So who do you, what do you do? Thankfully... I'm trying to make it so Connor goes deviant anyway. Knock, knock. Oh, you're not gonna knock? Connor, that's unnaturally rude. Uncharacteristically rude.
Signs of software instability. Probability of self destruction moderate. Model WR600 Gardener reported missing. Somebody heard him. Burn mark. Irreversible skin damage. Extreme heat. Oh. Don't be afraid. I'm not gonna hurt you. Can I make him self-destruct? Are there any other androids here? Other androids? No. Ralph is alone. I'm looking for an AX400. Have you seen it? Ralph's seen nobody. I'm also at the same time trying to gather information that Connor might need for later. There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Ralph scratched himself coming through. That's Ralph's blood. Can I find the dead body? Oh. No. Is anyone upstairs? No. Nobody. I don't really want to catch them. Oh my god, I'm running around in circles. Mostly because I'm not very good at quick time events. Hello? We're running. Oh my god. Connor, are you okay? <laughs> Connor, what's going on? It's he here. Got, Call it in. He got bludgeoned a little bit. Which way did it go? That way. They're headed for the train station. Oh man, okay. Shoot. So you can do this either as Kara or as Connor. If you do it as Kara, you can sneak. And if you do it as do it as Kara, you can sneak onto the train. If you do it, it's Connor. They're over there. I think they run up. Then it's the quick time. I'm not good at quick time. Which means either we all die or they get away. <laughs> ah, don't shoot. We need it alive. Software instability, Hank goes up. Okay. Ah! No. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't mash A for long enough. And then I hit the button again when it was B. But we survived. We're okay. Everything's fine. Are you okay? Yeah, no, you got your butt bumped by quite a few different things. We're fine. Jeez. was <laughs> wild.
Okay. So this is another one where you have to play multiple, multiple times to get everything because it starts at the end. Uh, like at the beginning, you're already branching off depending on if you stay in the hotel, if you stay in the car, if you stay in the squat house. Change clothes. Take gun back. Oh. Oh, so if you brought the gun, you probably had a chance to leave it. Try to convince... Oh, I've discussed the corpse before. Okay. So we're good. <laughs> Ah, so you can pressure him to giving it up. There's a place that I didn't investigate on the ground floor that leads off into its own ending. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. So can they both die here? That's the question, isn't it? Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids... Or have... Mark has got some pants, some shoes. Do we see anybody that might be going deviant? I don't see anybody. He looks kind of like a homeless person. Okay. We're looking for this painting. It's a little bit of a treasure hunt here. There is one thing that I've never been able. I'm sorry, I can't. Clues updated. So now we're looking for a lion. There's one thing that I've never been able to do here. Never been able to find it. And I don't know what it is. If I need to talk to somebody or look at something. Cyberlife. Android on the run. Runaway ma machine causes panic in Camden. With miles of unspoiled nature, Canada is the true land of the free. President Warren to make state visit to the United Kingdom. Residents in the Detroit suburb of Camden we're a witness to a thrilling chase today after a police manhunt, including roadblocks and dozens of police interviews, flushed out a felony fugitive. But this fugitive with this is a fugitive with a difference. A suspect the suspect was an android. The rogue AX four hundred model is thought to be suffering from an extremely rare malfunction and took extreme measures to avoid police, even dashing across a busy highway to avoid pursuing officers. Eyewitnesses, eyewitness statements are inconclusive, and with no official report, it's impossible to say for sure what really happened. Well, then why are you writing it in the newspaper? Local news correspondents are looking into the case at this very moment. No CyberLife spokesperson are, was available for comment, and the speculation looks set to continue. Android astronauts to explore Io. NASA sends, an sends Android crew into space. For some reason, every time I see Android, I fight to say Andrew, and it's not Andrew, it's Android. <laughs> Hackers target solar panels for latest ransom scam. 
NASA announced the launch of a five Android crew to explore Io, one of Jupiter's satellites. The journey will last three years and is expected to teach us much about the formation of our solar system. Though not the first androids in space, this is the first all-machine crew, proving that androids are sufficiently reliable to be entrusted with the entire mission. Androids are an extraordinary asset for the conquest of space, said Michael Shelley, director of NASA. Cosmic radiation destroys human DNA. Humans suffer many effects from long-term space travel, while androids are immune to most of those issues. NASA confirmed no return journey was planned and that the androids would work on Io for several months before being destroyed by the extreme conditions of the planet. Hmm, interesting. Make sure we don't miss any lion ones. Yeah, there's one that I've never been able to figure out here. Hello? Do you want to talk to me? Oh man, she... I thought she was looking right up in my... face. Hot lion. Oh, I thought there was an alley right here. Because I could see. Can we talk to you? Do you know where Jericho is? Those are some dead eyes. <laughs> Can we talk to you? No, we're respectful. He's working. Are we really going to get rid of Mandy? Grandma says it leaves her with nothing to do, sweetie. But she's so cool. I know. There we go. There we go. Press Y to analyze. We're looking for some stars. Hmm. Here. Where are we going here? Where are we crossing? Here's my question. If the cars stop... Okay, not this way. Apparently. If the cars stop when we tr jaywalk, why would they not auto stop on the highway? You know what I mean? Oh, there it is. I was going to say, I don't really know where I'm going here. Hello, pardon me, excuse me, don't mind me. A is that a dead person over there? Oh, he's wiggling. Okay, it's a little concerned. There it is. And we're looking for robots. There. Oh, uh -huh. There's one. I don't think anybody's paying attention to you. I 
I don't think you'd be the first homeless person that they see crouching below a fence. in here. Yep, see? Look around real quick. Be interesting. Oh. oh no. Didn't make it. So close. But in the end. Doesn't even matter. Parkour, parkour. It's nice that you're an android, you know? You can just do that. I could not. <laughs> Sparkle. Sparkle something. Okay, you gotta get from point A to point B. Thankfully, after I do that, I don't have to do any quick time events. <laughs> sparkle, sparkle. Sparkle City. We have to get closer. Excuse me, <laughs> hiccups. <laughs> I always have the hiccups when I'm recording. I don't know what it is. Okay, so let's go this way. Okay. And then this way. Construct. Hardcore parkour. Oh, I wish I had a. Oh, I was going to say, I wish I had a flashlight. Oh, talk about sad. This guy really almost made it. Because there's not much left. Just gotta find... This one. And then it tells you which way to go.
button mash. Go through. Jericho. It's the name of a boat. I guess it's like a ship. be the most dramatic that we can be. Okay. Gotta kind of look for things, because... I don't know. Let's climb this um, crane. By all means, take your time. Walk up this as slow as you can possibly walk up this. It's a very leisurely jog, isn't it? Let's do it. Go ahead. Jump. Very dramatic. Nice. We lost our sick coat. Oh, man. Now we gotta travel. I'm sorry if you guys can't see this very well. I'm kind of looking in my OBS and it looks dark. Let's see, real quick. I did turn it all the way up, video. Brightness. It is as high as it'll go, okay. We'll just have to... Aha! Uh -huh. Flashlight. Shimmy it. Is there anything over here? Nope, just debris. Extinguishers. Whoops. Get stuck on the wood crumbles here. <coughs> oh my goodness. Excuse me. Sorry. I had to sneeze so quickly that I didn't even have time to say I had to sneeze. Came so suddenly. Nope. Not that one either. That's a dead end. Okay. That makes life easier. Something in here? Nope. Jammed. This one opens. I think there is another magazine in this section. there's anything else important here. Okay, 
Wow, I'm having such trouble navigating through this place. No, don't go back in there, Marcus. There's nothing for us there. That's blocked. Jeez. Oh my god. Sounded like a freaking velociraptor. <laughs> Thought I was in Jurassic Park. Holy moly, where'd you come from? Where'd you go? I think that was Cotton Eye Joe. Holy moly. It scared the heck out of me. And it's stupid because I even knew it was like coming. I'm I knew that there was like a kind of jump scare thing in here. I did not remember a velociraptor to be the thing that got me, you know. Can you go in here? Marcus, please. Thank you. I was sure that there was more magazines in here, but maybe I'm thinking of something else. Ooh. fell down and hurt myself. Jeez. It's kind of dangerous, isn't it? Hello, compadres. Welcome to Jericho. Nice. Okay, let's see what we missed here. Missed a few things. Read on the run. I don't know what this middle thing is. Don't know what this thing is. Cross the gap. Maybe you fall and die? the end of the story. This would be like you go across the little bridge instead of climbing the crane. You know. Okay. All right. November 6th, 3.02 PM. Okay. Reconcile with Lieutenant with Anderson. Usual. Hey, Hank. How you doing, man? Hey, hey listen, I got a shit hot tip for you. Number five in the third. Lickety split. That Philly's one hell of a chaser. You want to flood it? Last shit hot tip you gave me sent me back a week's wages, baby. <laughs> Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Yeah, right. Okay, let's do some scanning here. Detroit food hygiene license. The license is expired. Renewal refused and a grade of C for sanitation. That's nice. Pedro Abdar. Unemployed, illegal gambling and fraud. Gary Kay's business owner, resisting arrest breach of hygiene regulations. 
It's our friend, Lieutenant Anderson. Yeah, why are we scanning him? Did we have a question as to who he might be? All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, Walter read this. <laughs> what is your problem? I don't have a don't problem. Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. But I love you, Hank. <sighs> I'm lonely without you. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, <laughs> He's <wow>. so cute. <laughs> You've even got a brown nose and apology program. Is it cyber life thought everything, huh? Okay, what do we got here? Extra large soda, pineapple passion, ooh la la, and a hamburger. Nice. Here you go. Ah, thanks, Gary. I'm starving. <laughs> Don't leave that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. Does this say? You can't... You just can't resist. Our food prepared by a human. Okay, hold on. Our chickens were born with two legs and two wings only. Our sauces are homemade. Oh. I was trying to look around things, but I guess it just, um... This Pedro, <laughs> he was proposing illegal gambling. <gasps> Am I right? Shock. Yeah. And you made a bet. Yeah. He's scandalized. He doesn't understand what's happening. Your meal contains 1.4 times the recommended daily intake of calories, and twice the cholesterol level. You shouldn't eat that. He's got to die of something. <laughs> we're friends with Hank. Okay. I was this morning, when we were so chasing excited demons, about that. <laughs> why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. I, and I don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. Oh, yeah. Huh? Let's do... Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Okay. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? No. Cyberlife He's androids cute. Are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. No. He's a good-looking gentleman, this Connor. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Okay. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? Yeah, that was a hostage situation that I don't get to see. A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof. He the blocked girl. that out of his memory. <laughs> I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me. Yeah. Let's tell him the truth. I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. Mm-hmm. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and mm -hmm. you spend a lot of time in bars. True, all of so it's true. So what's your conclusion? I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. 
<laughs> I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. Hot little wink. I'll be in the car if you need me. Cheeky wink. Connor, you run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry, I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh, well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No, I'm coming. <laughs> so defensive. Okay, we're, we're okay. Right, what do we know about this guy? Let's see. First, I need to do a little scan. Not much. I don't think I could see anything, even if there was. Okay, down Just here. that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding in feathers, a rock pigeon, LED under his cap. Oh Christ! If we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Anything else? I don't think so. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Mm-hmm. Correct. Hmm. Kick the door down. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. I love his got it. Usually that means he's not going to do what Hank tells him to do, but. It's very. Anything of import in here? Yeah, there we go. I was like, I could have sworn there was. Red Ice Epidemic. The latest narcotic crisis to ravage Detroit. NATO Security Council divided over Arctic dispute. UN warns of World War III. The synthetic stimulant, informally known as Red Ice, has become the drug of choice for Detroit's growing underclass. Analysts have pointed to Detroit's status as the epicenter of android production, suggesting the drug flourishes in the dissatisfaction caused by androids taking human jobs. Sociologist Dr. Julian Carter has drawn the same links with androids. As CyberLife's androids spread across the country, they will bring red ice with them. Poor men and women desperate to make ends meet are vulnerable to become users or even dealers. Not only is the popularity, popularity of this drug spreading rapidly, but its chemical composition is uniquely dangerous. Ethereum, the main ingredient in Android Blue Blood, is among the active agents in Red Ice and has a highly destabilizing effect on hormone production. The National Association for Narco Narcotics Prevention, NANP, says the problem is going to get worse. The purity of ingredients are very low and de deteriorating. America's biggest narcotics industry is only likely to grow. Red Ice dealers are reported to have an unofficial motto. Where the, blue, where the blood is blue, the ice is red, and the money is green. I have to sneeze. Hold on. <coughs> I think I'm allergic to my bedroom. <laughs> Unprecedented hurricanes all across Midwest. Past the tipping point, Earth's environment officially beyond repair. Bees officially extinct, global famine to follow. We knew about the bees. Environmentalists have long warned us that a tip about a tipping point, the moment at which global warming reaches a level that is irreversible. Scientists are now saying we have officially passed it. Global rainforests have been reduced by 79% since that 2000, and coastal corals by 58%. Polar ice has melted to such, such an extent that rising sea levels have many states struggling to keep the water out of their coastal towns. With, those, with these cooling factors so diminished, 
there is now too much carbon in the atmosphere for the environment to ever absorb. Jason Reese, head of the Global Environment Agency, said, This study confirms what many of us have suspected for a long time, but the real calamity is the linked decline of natural resources from energies to minerals, which are almost exhausted and can never be replaced. Many environmentalists have criticized Reese's comments as discouraging people from taking action, but Reese has defined defied these criticisms. It's important people accept the reality of the situation. The planet will keep getting hotter now. The only question is, how fast? Well, it's done now. It's like, um, Interstellar. Gotta go to a different planet. Oh, What the birds. fuck is this? Can I not go in here? Ugh. Jesus, this place stinks. Well, looks like we came for nothing. There's a lot of birds here. Our man's gone. Driver's license, Rupert Travis. The driver's Support. license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. saw this these magazines on the floor and I wasn't sure wait more birds don't lock them in there I need some fresh air yeah go for it then maybe the pigeons can leave too urban farms of Detroit Urban farm poster, fields in the heart of the city. Corner is recently moved. Uh -huh. a lot of sense. Found something? I don't know. What is this? It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Lottery uh, tickets? I don't know what those are on the table. I have no idea why my camera moved like that. Nope, I want to go this way. I want to go this way. Nothing. An empty fridge. Yeah, usually androids don't eat. Ah, Jesus, I hate these things! <laughs> Hank is losing his temper. Scooch birdie. Suspect cares for wild animals. This looks like something important, but I can't look at it. Nope. Real books. Military jacket. Second hand initials RT. RT. Probably initials. Yes. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Okay, he removed his LED. LED, yeah. Deactivated. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. I don't. Blue blood, okay. <laughs> Like, I'm not a fan of him sticking his fingers and everything. I'm with Hank on that one. Don't lick the crime scene. Any idea what it means? RA-9. 
written 2,471 times. Wow. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Obsessive compulsive writing. Wooden stool. Recently disturbed traces of avian fecal matter. Pigeon poo. Opened marker pen. Still wet. Used recently. Color midnight mood black. They were here, doodling RA9 700 times. Oh, 2,000, sorry. Okay. That was the loud noise. He fell, clunk. He was just in the bathroom writing RA9 7,000 million times. Finger marks recent. Traces of avian fecal matter. No fingerprints. Gross. Metal hook recently broken. 100% stainless steel. So it was hanging. Skid mark, recent, trail width, 19.6 inches, Grayson. traces of galvanized steel. Okay. So we came out of the, out of the bathroom, hit, hit him, hit the thing. <laughs> Heard us come in, face planted into pigeons. Suspect is still here. Okay. Let's watch this all in real time here. Man, he really hardcore parkour out of here, huh? Now what? Expose the suspect. hope that I can do this. No. Oh my god. I don't kill Connor. We're gonna go fast but risky. Ooh. Fast but risky. Should I? Probably not. Go this way. Look out! Oh my god. I really I hope I don't murder our boy here. Oh my god! glitched out and instead of restarting the chapter from the beginning we're here which I mean cool I'll take it ah! 
Oh, jeez. Goddamn fucking pigeons! What are you waiting for? Chase it! We gotta run! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, X. Okay. Jeez. We'll try really hard not to kill our boy Connor here. We're gonna go fast but risky. Risky. Oh, okay. We're gonna go this way. Oh my gosh. I'm just running. Ugh. Okay. Okay, we didn't fall through the universe. Go this way and this way. We're hopeful that we can catch him and not die. Hidden. Okay, we got it. Run, 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 run. Hey, be careful. We're chasing. Don't be mean. any of my buns are. Pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. Oh my god, I don't know where I'm going. Oh no, Hank! Oh no, Hank! We're gonna save Hank. Because he's our best friend. Oh shit! Oh shit! We had it! It's okay. Fuck. It's I my got fault. you. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. No, I love you, Hank. Be, don't be silly. All right. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. It's a good thing I didn't delete the episode where it messed up. Hey, Connor. Because I stopped recording after I glitched through the floor. <laughs> but, um... I still have it, so I won't delete it, and then we'll finish. I'll just smush them together. All right. The nest, seventy-four percent completed. So there's something. I guess if I just stand there and don't talk to Hank, we have a silent <laughs> meal. Examine the feathers, okay. Find the diary. There's something that I missed in the apartment. Maybe it's, oh, it could be that I just don't do anything in there and it gets away. Or we leave. That could be a thing. Because it got away here. And then it doesn't get away. And then Connor can die. I know that because I've accidentally failed one of those quick time events one time. And a combine harvester gets him. And this is probably you just leave, right? I don't know. Let's carry on. We're in Jericho. 5.13 p.m. Hello, everyone. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. Uh... This is Jericho? It's a <laughs> refuge for those who don't Jeez. want to be slaves anymore. Don't say it like that. Uh, 
I don't understand. I thought Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. I mean... It may not be what you hoped for, but here we have no master. That's true. We don't belong to anybody. Facts. And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. Technically, he didn't know me at all. This place can be free. Find Jericho. Yeah, he was just. I understand how you feel. Broken. But we have more freedom here than you ever did. Mm. Humans were your masters, and now it's fear that rules you. Jeez. Oh, you're no freer than you ever were. You've only found a new master. You're lost. Man, I did not mean Just to like play Marcus as such a negative Nancy We didn't here. ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Okay. Go and see Lucy. Okay. She might be able to help you. I don't think, um... There are any books in this one? Any magazines? So... I think it's just... Seeing things. Well, we might as well start here. Just make a circle. I just... Carry a lighter with me? Where did I find it? Maybe it was in that coat. Hello. You want to talk? No? Okay. Uh, anything in here? There's... What is this? Android parts? Or is it metal? It might just be pieces of the boat. The ship. Sorry. Hello. You're missing a shoe. I'm not in very good shape, am I? <laughs> Marcus says the diagnostic mm -mm. program isn't working. <coughs> mm -mm. You do not look good. I would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. Poor oh, baby. I don't want to shut down. I'm sorry. No, I, I don't want to shut down. Sorry, I'm blowing my nose real quick. Hello, do you want to talk to me? No? Okay. Do you want to talk to me? No? Okay. Do you want to talk to me? No. Nobody wants to talk to me. Uh, this is where we need to go at the end, so we're not going to do that. I've heard humans are afraid of dying, too. Oh, okay. Do you know what happens after death? No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? What a sad place. Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. Man. This is a downer of a place. I think Marcus does need to take over. Oh, no, there's a rubble in our way. 
Hello. I can't talk to you. It's just chilling out. I feel like this is Android parts. Those are hands for sure. These are Android parts. Hello. Oh no! A little kid robot. That's sad. They threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. <coughs> we salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. Not if I have anything to say about it. I'm gonna save us all. Okay, there's another... Another trash can. RA9. here that I need to see? Nope. Okay. Let's see what we got in here. Nothing. Arms and legs that are gone. Okay, cyber life. Let's analyze this. Cyber life warehouse and docks, West Torrance Avenue, Detroit, Michigan. Poor Jericho. Okay, I'm not done exploring yet. Hello? Okay, bye. I need to... There are a couple people I need to talk to still. North and... Simon. North is here behind us. Hi to hell there. Neighborino. A lot of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. They'll never accept what we are. What was your function before coming here? What do you care? Okay. I guess not but if you play this game a couple times or if you um Who found this place are particularly nobody knows anymore mm, observant he was, his body's probably laying somewhere on this boat when we looked in the uh terminal came here for comfort you came to the wrong place that's fine i just thought i'd say hi in the terminal, when Connor looks in the police station, she's the robot that, or the android that went missing from, um, Eden, Eden Lair, Eden Club, wherever it's called. She's the one that ran away from the client's house. Hello, I'd like to talk to you. Can I not do that now? Can I, do I have to talk to Lucy first? Yes? No? Okay, I think I have to talk to Lucy first, and then I come back. Oh, I can't go upstairs to talk to these fine gentlemen. Okay. Hello. Oh, hi. You're looking a little you rough. Lucy? Yeah, she looks rough. Sit down. Okay. Man, Marcus doesn't ask any questions. He's just like, okay. Eden Club. That's Show the place me. where it's called. <laughs> Jeez, it took forever. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> it doesn't show. I'll stop the bleeding. He has a big gash in his side. He didn't pull up his shirt. You're gonna cauterize that fabric right into his skin. Yep, okay. That's funny. That's hilarious. The kind of little glitches and everything that happen are so, is so funny. Drink this. You got it, dude. I'll just drink whatever you hand me, I suppose. It's Ethereum, but... I'm sure other people probably need it, but we'll do it. We got a rebellion to lead here. Thanks. Give me your hand. Sure, why not? I mean, I've already let you cauterize me and drink whatever you gave me. I might as well interface with you. You had it all. Mm -hmm. And you lost it all. Boy, how do you're telling me? You've seen hell and now hell lives in you. No, I don't know about that. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? You decide. Our choices will shape our destiny. I'm more intrigued in the fact that her head is like completely popped open. All her brain works are spilling out and... Um, she's fine. I mean, I feel like that might be a more detrimental injury than getting dragged behind a car. And she seems cool. She's like, I'm good. I don't need any Ethereum or nothing. Simon. He was napping. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyber Life Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Well, now North is neutral. Shh. She's Maybe ready to try. go. Simon is up. Josh? All right, let's do this, buddy. He has no strong feelings about it, but he's cool with it. 100% complete. 